Hey everyone, Fred here, AF Math and Engineering. We are going to do a quick question on Kramer's rule, a Kramer's rule problem. So this is, you know, pretty straightforward. This we're going to do a two by two matrix here, and then in the next video we'll do a three by three matrix. So the two by two is actually really straightforward. I'll just get right into it. We'll do it really quickly. Okay, so we have uh, the question here, and I'll just make that yellow so you guys can distinguish what I'm doing here. Okay, so we have use Kramer's rule, okay, to solve, and then we have a system of linear equations here. We have 2x1 minus 7x2 equals negative 3, 3x1 minus 5x2 equals negative 1. Okay. So all we're going to do here, okay, is we're going to write out the expressions for x1 and x2, okay? So uh, they're, going, it's going, they're both going to be quotients, okay? And on the bottom of both quotients, the solutions for x1 and x2, okay, is going to be the matrix on the left side. So as you know, we can rewrite this matrix as... Okay, negative 7, negative 5, and then negative 3, negative 1. That kind of just denotes that they're, it's on the other side of the equation. Perfect. So uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and solve this. Okay, so this matrix here on the left, okay, so the x1 and the, the coefficients in front of the x1 and the x2s, okay, we're going, those are going to be on the bottom in both scenarios. Okay, so let's just go ahead and we'll write that immediately. Okay, so we have 2, negative 7, 3, negative 5. And we're going to write exactly the same thing for x2. Perfect. So what do we do for the, uh, the numerators? Well, what we're going to do is for the first one here, okay? So I don't, I, you, can, you can remember this any way you like, but I like to think that for x1, uh, the second row is going to stay the same. Okay, and then for the second x2, the first row is going to stay the same. Okay, so for x1, the second row is going to stay in its place on the right side of the matrix. Okay, so like that's just the way I like to kind of uh, visualize this. You can use any way that you, you feel. And we're going to take uh, negative 3 and negative 1, so the values that are on the other side of the equation, and we're just going to write those in place of the first column of the, the matrix here. Okay, so we're just going to do that. Okay, so these values stay the same, and then we take these and we put them into the first column. For the x2, okay, the first column is going to stay the same. And we're going to take the, the values on the right side of the equation, and we're going to input them on the second column of uh, our numerator matrix. And now all that's left to do is to calculate x1 and x2. Okay, so we're going to, uh, for the, the top of the fraction, okay, that is going to be equal to, we're going to have negative 3 times negative 5, okay, minus, minus 1 times negative 7, okay, and we are going to do that exactly the same thing for the bottom. Okay, so we have 2 times negative 5 minus 3 times negative 7. Okay, so we have uh, negative 3 times negative 5, okay, that's going to be positive 15 minus positive 7. Okay, so what's that going to give us? That's going to give us 8. Okay, and on the bottom we have negative 10 minus minus 21, right? So that's going to be negative 10 plus 21, that should give us positive 11. And that's the solution for x1. Let's do the same thing for x2. We have 2 times negative 1, okay, and that's going to be minus... 3 times negative 3. Okay, so in these kind of questions, like you can a lot of the times make errors with the negative signs, like minus, and you have minus here. If you do it in your head, there's a good chance that you're going to make a small mistake and get this really easy question wrong. So I like to just write this out and put it into my calculator step by step with all the negatives and see what I get. That's the best way to do it. Don't do it in your head. And the bottom value obviously is going to be the same. Okay, because it's exactly the same on the top and the bottom. So we have negative 2 minus minus 9. Okay, so negative 2 plus 9 is going to be 7. So we have 7 over 11. Okay, and that is the answer. So really straightforward Kramer's rule question for a, two, uh, a system of two linear equations. Next video, let's do a system of three linear equations, and we can uh, go over that. Thanks for watching.